All right, what's going on YouTube? Today we are checking out some Elden Ring mods, or specifically one mod that came out on Friday, and it is probably going to be one of Elden Ring's most controversial mods, and I'll kind of talk about that here in a little bit, and that is the Seamless Co-op mod. Now, what this mod aims to do is essentially make the co-op experience super easy to, to do for PC. Now, what I mean by that is simply you'll download two files and you will change up the password in some, one of the i and i files, and then that will allow you to summon people within that world that have that same password. Now, it sounds super simplistic, and that's just because it is. And the reason I say it's very controversial to some people is that it takes out the invasion and hunter aspect of the game, which, according to the developers of this mod, is not easy to implement and probably won't be implemented in the future. That being said, this mod is still in the early beta stages. It only just came out for open beta yesterday by the time this video goes up. So keep that in mind that it's still very buggy. There will be things that are happening inside of the game that you'll probably see that will be fixed. But I also wanted to kind of go over the installation of the mod itself and kind of showcase how to get it up and running. So first of all, you need to go to the Nexus page that I linked down below. Go to the file section and you should see the seamless co-op beta 1.0. You'll go ahead and download that file and then you'll get a folder or you'll get a zip file that you need to open up. All right, so once you download it, open up the file, you'll see two folders here. One is the seamless co-op and then one is the launch Elden Ring seamless co-op .exe. So you want to copy both of these files. And then you want to go into your Elden Ring executable. For me, that's going to be my Steam folder. Steam apps, common, Elden Ring, and then go inside of the game folder. You're going to want to paste those two files inside of the game folder. You'll know it works once you have the seamless co-op and then you'll have the launch Elden Ring seamless co .exe. Now, if you want to set a password, what you need to do is go into the seamless co-op folder and then you'll see a call password I and I. Now, you want to go to change this to any type of password that you want to use for your sessions. I'm obviously not going to show mine just in case I am streaming or doing different sessions, although I can change it. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show it now. Just I'll change it later. So let's say I want the password to be poop because I'm a child. So save the password as poop. And then you'll go ahead and save that. And now that's the password that you need to have inside of that file. Once that's done, you'll need to launch the game from the executable, the launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op. Now, you can also launch the game from the regular Elden Ring executable, but it won't have any of the co-op aspects. And the cool thing about this mod is it has two different types of executables, meaning that you'll be launching almost essentially two different versions of the game and your save files will be split across those games. So if you have like a regular Elden Ring playthrough that you're doing on PC and you just want to keep going with that, you just launched a regular Elden Ring executable. But if you want to start the co-op experience, you need to launch the Elden Ring seamless co-op and you'll have two separate characters. Now you can transfer characters over, although the process is a bit difficult um, and that's also very buggy. So you lose the chance of losing whatever progress that you have from one part to the other. So I would just recommend having two separate save files. So once you have that installed, go ahead and launch the seamless co-op.exe executable. Now you may get a warning if you're using Windows 10 or 11 saying that it is a virus. It is not a virus, it's a false positive. Um, that tends to happen with some executable files, so go ahead and accept that. And you'll know you'll have the mod is successfully installed once you get past the press any button stage. You'll get a message saying, welcome to the seamless co-op mod for Elden Ring. This is an early beta version of the mod. This mod uses a separate save and does not connect to the matchmaking servers. This does not contain an anti-cheat. So basically this means that you will not be playing with other people who are officially playing Elden Ring. You'll only be playing with people that are launching from this executable. And to push that a little bit further, you'll only be playing with people who are using that password that you set earlier. Now, to kind of showcase what you'll need to do for like a new game, because I've already started the game for testing purposes. Go ahead and select whatever class. Uh, we're going to go wheat mode here. All this is fine, don't really care about that. Here is the instructions that it gives you at the very beginning when you launch the game. Seamless co-op or of play. Host. Use the tiny great pot to create a party. Other players may use, may join by using the effigy of uh, Melina. They must know the session password. All players will take the role of host of figures. Any objective completed as a party will save in each other's player's world. To end cooperative play, use the separating mist. If the session host uses this item, the party will be disbanded. And you'll automatically have those items in your inventory. They'll be in your quick pouch. So the left is the effigy of uh, Melina. The right is the um, the powder that you use to open up. I'll kind of give you a little bit more here. So it'll have the, the tiny great pot. That's what you use to open up the world. The effigy is what you use to join the world. 
the separation mist is to pretty much end the session and then the judicator's rulebook this allows you to change certain rules so doing so will cause turmoil amongst cooperators what this means is that you can actually open this up for pvp or if you want to do um friendly fire so this is how you can do pvp within your own session so if you wanted to run a tournament or something or you wanted to run just kind of like one-on-one -on -one duels with other content creators without having to deal with any of the other bs this is a way you could do that by opening up the the adjudicators rule book now we didn't test this feature out we'll probably test it out in a future stream but i just wanted to kind of give you a brief introduction on how to install the mod and get the mod started before jumping into like the actual footage hopefully you guys enjoy the footage let me know what you think about the mod yourself if you're going to be using it and if you do enjoy the video please leave a like on the video and share it with your friends it really does help out the channel it helps these videos spread out to more people um if you want to become a channel member that's also available i'll shut up now enjoy the rest of the video all right so it is pretty cool though that uh essentially all you you can just um you can also set it, like sit at the like the the grace period i don't know oh i do have a sacred tier no i don't Oh yeah, we can both rest. Have a golden seal. That is cool, actually. Flask. I don't have any. So, but yeah. That is cool that we can both sit here, though. I can look at my equipment. Yeah. Cool. Pretty much like if we was an actual game, but we don't get like some that wants to be defeated, boss. So not this Which is boss. Nice. Yeah, I'm not. Go I'm not fighting that <laughs> not, boss first. Not this one. We'll go towards the uh, that rat boss. Um. Okay. So we can just kind of kind of sneak around them. Actually, yeah, it's not very hard to set up at all. Get past the tutorial, then. Exactly. Yeah. Pick up, like, the little item it tells you. And it, I think it even gives you instructions, actually, once you get past the tutorial on how to do it, too. Well, so so you get both of the items automatically. You only have to pick them up. Yeah, no, but I'm saying that once you get to the that final point of the tutorial, it tells you pretty much what to do, which is cool. Okay, look at that. And so, if any if anyone activates the grace, we both get it. So, and it saves on a separate save file from your main game. So you can play this game. You can play at the co-op portion separate from like the actual game. It is not like a band or anything. Where are you going? Now, how far? Can, I just want to see how far I can go from you. I'm uh, curious. All right. Yeah, I guess if you want to try and see if you can make it somewhere. I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. I just want to see. Just like if I go, does it like start to summon away? Uh, I mean, I'm not far, far, but I guess try I feel like I'm make pretty it decently the... away. See if you can fast travel back to the first steps. Back to the first steps? Yeah, like the place we just came from. Oh, I think it's going to actually do a vote thing for that. Oh, okay. Well, we can showcase that as well. You want to do that now or what? Uh, well, let's run through the dungeon first and then we'll showcase that as well. But I mean, still. I mean, decently far, I would say. Well, I mean, we could probably go that far in a regular game. Cause I don't, I don't know how far it restricts you in like actual cop, cause you know you don't go that far. Not sure. Oh, we did not. We did not what? Oh, get torches. Oh, uh, yeah. That's it's fine. fine. It's not that dark. Yeah. Wolves. Kill them all the time. Uh, working on it. Oh god, I don't have my knife. I was just punching. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> I tried to switch back to my regular weapon. Alright. Oh, before we drop. It's not drop, is it? Nah, it's fine. We can climb okay. back up. It's a different plan as like a thief class at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, definitely different plan as this guy too. I was surprised you didn't pick the samurai. I was going to, but I kind of wanted to see him. Oh, the warrior chick? Got yeah. It. All right, so I'm a, I'm a guy. I just got a long do rag thing on. Yeah, so this is another portion of the mod that's fairly new. Um, 
defeating bosses. Now, in the original game, when you defeat a boss, obviously everyone gets summoned back into their own world. However, in this, if we defeat this boss, we still stay in the same world. Oh, this shield is not good. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> All right, with that boss defeated now. This is usually what will happen. He would be summoned back into his own world. However, look at that. He's still here. And we both got that. And we both got that item, too, because progression saves on both uh, both uh, parties. I guess I could at the end show, well, if there's an easy boss right at the end, I'll show what happens if I die. Yeah, we could probably find like another boss, or we'll probably, when we reach, uh, you know, our favorite person, uh, Market. Well, we both gonna die, so that's different. Yeah, but I mean, one of us would die first. <laughs> and yeah. then we can show the spectator mode. <laughs> no, I thought, uh, well, I guess I'll select that way you can show. Alright, so I'm selecting the first steps. Okay, so then you said first steps? Yeah, so I think, oh, whatever you we did, just all I don't know what you pressed. It. Okay, so we pretty much have to all select the same place. Okay. The fast travel, too. And so you should be loading in soon. Yeah, I think I am. It's the power of having an SSD. So they're weird. <laughs> they're not weird, but anyway, that's basically how fast traveling uh, voting works. So now you, you don't have to like try and run back to a Grace summon someone. Essentially, you could just come back, or you can all vote on one side of Grace to go to. So same thing here. If we wanted to go back to like the cross uh, or the Groveside Cave. Now, I would choose to vote there, and then he would select it as well. So, Limbside, Grayside Cave. Yeah, the, gro the Groveside Cave. Yep. And then, right. boom. That's cool. essentially how that would work. So, essentially, nice. it takes, like, a lot of the complications from, like, trying to summon someone, do the password within the game, and stuff like that. It just, it's a lot easier to get, like, a co-op experience. Now, there is some people that are going to be disappointed because, unfortunately, um, you can't do evasions. Just because apparently the system's too complicated to like do evasions and stuff. Where did he go? I was just running out, just seeing how far I can go from me. <laughs> My man just dipped. <laughs> he just left. Um, it's actually a pretty good question though. Well, I'll check on the map and see how far you go. Yeah, see, because you can see him up ahead fighting already. Just goes to show like how. Impressive this and this mod's in beta too, so it can only get better from here. And I got the map, which I'm assuming got the map for you. I think so. I don't know, you can open your map and see if it expanded. Oh it did, look at that. I think it I think it did get the map. No wait, no it didn't, so the map doesn't work. But you have to pick that up too, then. Yeah, I'll have to pick up the map too. You see you wasn't able to do this. In the vanilla Until, game. yeah, you weren't able to do any of this, so. Co -op, so. And there we go. So both of us can now use Torrent. All right, so I did mark a place on the map. Do you see that where I marked or no? Yep. That, that okay. blue area. That blue area. That, that works too. Okay. So we can ride there. It's a cave. So yeah. You just pissed off all the people. Oh, wait. Grab that grace. And here they come. Nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. So nope. go towards the cave. Gotcha. Yeah, be careful. I don't know if it's like a death drop. Oh, down there. yeah, it's a drop. Okay, that's what I was about to say. It might be a death drop.
Oh, I died. No! Oh, God. I died to rats. That's fine. Rot Essence Decay. Huh. Uh, reduces Rune Acquisition. Oh, wow. Interesting. Huh. But hey, the enemies don't respawn. Because you don't think you rest it. True. <laughs> we don't have the fight. We don't have the manpower for this. We might need better weapons for this. Oh, you just now realizing that? Oh, I got a pickaxe. I can't use the pickaxe. That requires 22 strength. Oh god. Oh, it's a golem, isn't it? Oh, we might. Uh. Yeah, we might be. We might be downright fucked. But it's okay. Well, if you want to press record on your end and just send me the footage, just in case you die. I'm gonna die. Okay, well then just press the record button on your side. What, what was it again? Oh, what? I don't know. Oh, F9, I think. Yep, that's it. All right. All right. So. All right. Here we are at the boss. Uh, we're probably going to die. So depending on which one of us dies, we'll show the spectating feature. So pissed at you. Yeah, I'm pissed at myself too. I forgot. How are you gonna kill me, Gollum? Yeah, look at that weapon bounce. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> that was quick. My weapon did bounce. Oh. Hmm. So are I don't you? I know why you drank that potion. I don't know either. How's your weapon doing there? It's okay. Maybe you'll call bleed. Oh, you get, you're spectating, right? Oh, yeah, I'm spectating. Hold on real quick. Oh, God. Ow. Pain. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but you guys get the gist of what's happening. Oh, guy. Oh, guy. Oh, crap. Right, me. get away from him, get away from him. I'm away. Hey, you should get away. Hmm. What is he doing? Big slam, I think. Oh, guy. want these oh god that's so quick take this magic where did you get magic from I picked up glistos oh okay that works oh god he keeps stomping me in the dick <laughs> why does he keep stomping me in the dick <laughs> Do you have any more magic pebbles? No, I don't. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there he goes. What'd you do? Bleed him? Yeah, finally bled him. Yeah. War medallion. Cool. 
So I don't know if there's a way to get rid of these things, like the rot essence. Um, Cause I assume they're just kind of like just debuffs for when you die. I don't know how many you get. I don't know. But yeah. And I don't. Don't what? Well, I was. I I don't know like uh, how many. I get, I'd imagine maybe for like the like the rune arcs, I guess maybe. But yeah, I think overall, um, j just wanted to showcase the mod, not go super in depth with it. There may be some streams using it, or maybe more videos. But um, yeah, I had one uh, large glitch don't left. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's it's a little late now. But I think overall, this video kind of showcases what the mod's capable of, um, and what you can do in terms of like the seamless co-op. Now, I think this goes up to four players. Um, for this testing purposes, I only have my brother, but probably during streams, you'll probably see more people. But overall, yeah, the mod seems to work fairly well. Um, we haven't had any disconnects during this recording oh. session. That's a dragon. I forgot this thing was here. Uh, let's not. Yeah, let, let's not do this. But overall, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I just wanted to quickly showcase the mod as it came out. Um, there will be more Elden Ring mod videos. Um, they're a little bit harder to make because they require you to get to like certain places in the game and have certain items and stuff. So it's not as easy as uh, like Skyrim mods and stuff like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, we'll catch you in another video. Maybe some more uh, adventures going through some of the bosses or maybe sections of co-op and stuff like that as we unlock more. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the download, or I'll leave a link to download the mod in the description below. It's fairly simple to set up. Um, the very beginning of this video, if you missed it, should showcase how to get everything installed properly and how to get it up and running. So yeah, uh, catch you guys yeah. next time. All right.